Look at this door. Crazy son of a bitch. That's not gonna stop us. I think there's someone in the kitchen. Are you... Are you Adam? Me? No, of course not. I don't have anything to do with all this foolishness. Never have. It's my son. I've told him time and time again, but he never listens. I've done my best to protect that boy, you know. I'm all he's got left in the world since his mama died, but it just wasn't enough. Where is he then? Where's Eye of Adam? He's in his room. Where else would he be? He's always in his room, staring at that screen for as long as he can. Look, I've made up my mind about this. I want to help you. This mess he's in, it's gone too far. I don't, I, I can't be part of this. What are you talking about? You don't understand. He's watching us. Right now, he can see us on his camera. He's very clever with this stuff. I never got my head around it. Just as much as I needed to, I guess. But not a lot. Give us the key to his room. I want to talk to him. Look, it's a trap. He knows why you're here. And he will kill you. Both of you. But he will not kill me. He won't dare. All these years. I've looked after him well. He owes me everything. It breaks my heart to do this now. But what choice do I have? He left me this. I was supposed to keep it for myself. But I want you to take it. He won't dare to kill his own father. And I won't let two innocent lives be lost because of him. What is it? Just take the damn thing. There's not much time. Didn't you hear me? He's watching. What is it, Mrs. A? It's a shoebox. Take it away. Get rid of it. He must see that I don't have it anymore. Shall we open it? Oh, God. Mitzi, we have to get out of here. Quickly. It's a gas mask. He's going to poison us. It's too late! Shit. Oh, shit. 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 No! Stop that, Adam! You're going to kill your father! We'll never make it to the door. That room is filling up with gas too quickly. Put the mask on, Mrs. A. What about you? No. No, I can't! You've got to. This is your only chance. I... No. I can't let you die. Not like this. It's my fault that you're here. I'm dying anyway. And you... You've got to live, Mrs. A. You'll live and you'll be happy again. You are... You've been a great friend, Mrs. A. No. You've got a date. And I'll make sure you turn up for it. I can't. There is no time to argue. I'll be fine. Now. Do it!
Welcome home, darling. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Say what you've got to say and let's finish this. I'm tired of you. Tired of all this madness. I just need to get back. Very well. I'm not planning to keep you long. Let's go inside. I have one last job for you. There are still two candles left, Susan. You know how this works. A soul for a soul. And that's it. I blow out the last candle, and I'll never have to see you again. Only if you blow out the right one, I'll never bother you again. Isn't that what you want? But if you choose wrong, it will be your life, extinguished forever. Just take a deep breath and do it. But how should I know which one's right? That's the thing, Susan. You can't know that. In life, you can't always know the consequences before you make a decision. Haven't you learned that yet? That's not fair. Nothing is fair. You opened your heart talking to that doctor, and he butchered you like an animal. Then, those disgusting cannibals, they chop you up and cook you for dinner if you'd let them. And what about the man with the flowers? All that he wanted was to hear you play before he split your skull open. The way your husband treated you. The way your neighbors laughed at you for years, just for being different. You did not deserve all that, and yet it happened. Am I forgetting something? Ah, oh, yes, of course. Most of all, was it fair that... Shut up! Just shut up, you ugly bitch! Now I know who you really are. All those feelings that I had in me for years. That bitter guilt and self-pity. That hatred for myself and everyone else. You are that miserable illness that's consumed my heart all these years. You, always there, always. Every day I looked at you in the mirror, like a dark cloud I couldn't see through. I let you take control of my life. I believed it was right to feel like this. But not any longer. This ends here. Then blow out the candle. No, I won't. I'm done playing your stupid little games. You won't tell me what to do anymore. I am stronger than you. I can close my eyes and you'll be gone. Blow out the candle! It's time to say goodbye, sister. I'm not gonna miss you. You will never leave this place without me. You need me. We are one. No. Tomato. You were thinking about a tomato, right? Tomato is a fruit, silly. Who cares? I like tomatoes. So do I. But, I hate to disappoint you, but I was really thinking of onions. Why onions? They're the saddest of the vegetables, of course. They make people cry. I... What happened, Mrs. A? I saw you die. And yet, you're here. Alive, like, if nothing's ever happened. Well, let's put it this way. Everyone knows cats have nine lives. So do cat ladies, apparently. 
But this time, I feel there won't be second chances. I'm down to one last life now. I can't afford to waste it. You are such a nutter, Mrs. A. You are absolutely fucking bonkers. But I'm so happy to see you. Never, ever do that to me again, all right? I can happily promise you that, Mitzi. This is it. His room is through that door. It's time to face the eye of Adam. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. You're... you're the Eye of Adam? A pathetic, wheelchair-bound invalid? Is this a joke? Do you... do you know who I am? Do you know what you've done to me? You fucking murderer! Tonight it's your turn to die. I'm gonna paint this room with your brains and I'm gonna watch and smile. I swear to God I'll do it. Well? Nothing to say? Nothing at all? Aren't you going to beg for your sad little life? Say something! Anything! Mitzi, where did you get that gun from? It doesn't matter. Please, Mrs. A. This is something I have to do. You are free to leave if you want. You don't have to be a part of it. Just try to understand. Beg for forgiveness, you scum. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't believe I'm gonna shoot you, do you? Oh, I've dreamt of this moment for so long. Look at this man, Mitzi. He hasn't twitched a muscle since we entered the room. I think he's paralyzed. That's... That's impossible. He's lying to us. He's faking it. Do something. Talk for God's sake. I need you to answer me. I need to know. He won't answer you. He can't talk. Then... How did he post all that stuff online? Do it. I think I know how. See that little device on his left eye? I've heard about these. It's a controller. It seems the only part of his body he can move is his eyeball. Controller connected to the computer tracks its movement, allowing him to... What? That's ridiculous. How do you even know such things? I'm a nurse? I've seen these before. Well, I've seen eye-controlled wheelchairs, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work with a computer. Jesus. That would explain the whole Eye of Adam thing. He really is just the eye. But, no, that doesn't change anything. He must die. He deserves nothing more. Arrogant shit! I will fucking do it! Just tell me one thing. One thing. Why? Why did you make Jack kill himself?
fine. It'll be a pleasure. Ready to die, scumbag? Look at these oxygen tanks. I don't think it's a good idea. What? Why not? I'm the one holding a gun here. And I will blow this bastard's brain out as soon as he looks at me. You hear me? Look at me. I want you to see what you've done. The pain you've caused me. Mitzi, that's not what I meant. Just put the gun down for a second. No! No. I can't do that, Mrs. A. I'm sorry. This is something I have to do. I have to. Can't you hear that hissing sound? These cylinders are clearly leaking gas. Please stay out of it. You'll make a whole room blow up. I don't care. Just leave me alone. You lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. Now, wasn't that quite obvious? What did you think I wanted to do? Have a coffee with him? Chat about the weather or politics? For God's sake, I'm here because this son of a bitch needs to die. If I don't kill him now, he'll just carry on and more innocent people will lose their lives. Do you really want that? Because I don't. This isn't the way to do it. Just turn these computers off instead. No! He doesn't deserve to live after what he's done. And who are you to serve justice like this? Do you really want to kill an unarmed, paralyzed man? Why are you doing this, Mrs. A? I thought you were my friend. That's exactly why I'm doing this? Even if we survive the explosion, how will you be able to live with yourself? I won't have very long to live with it. I'll manage just fine. Think about it for a second. Would Jack really want this? He... This bastard messed with Jack's head. He tricked him. That's what he does. He fucking tricked him. But would Jack really want you to become a murderer? No. He wouldn't. He wasn't violent at all. He was the kindest, sweetest guy I ever knew. Exactly. Now, put that gun down already. But what about me? No, I'll do it. I know Jack will forgive me. Without his father, he's harmless. He was the one who supplied him with all this technology. He fulfilled his every single wish. I know this guy's rotten bad. There's no excuse for what he did. But he will be punished for it. Trust me. They'll put him in some stinking nursing home. He'll live his life like a vegetable, stuck to bed. He'll have time to think about what he's done. And he'll never see a computer screen again. Isn't that enough? He said, do it. He wants to die and I want to kill him. He wants us all to die. Can't you see that? Isn't that what he's been preaching? A joint suicide. That's why he wants you to shoot him. So we can all get blown to pieces. His final act. The work of his life. Are you really going to give him that satisfaction? Remember what you said about feeding the troll? That's exactly what you're going to do if you kill him now. No. Maybe you're right. You should leave, Mrs. A. I'd never want you to get hurt. But I'm not going away without this fucker dead. Even if that means I die too. Mitzi, have you lost your mind? You're going to sacrifice your life for this scum? He's a parasite! A worthless, evil piece of shit! It's not like I've got anyone to live for, is it? What? What about your mother? Your family. She's dead. Yeah, I lied. I always lie. 
I grew up in an orphanage. My family never wanted to know me. The only person that cared about me was Jack. And he's dead! Yeah. Happy now? So get the fuck out of here and let me do what I got to do. I care about you. Do it for me. Come on, mate. It's been a long day. Let's go home. We've won. Have we really? Trust me. I know we have. How? Oh. I'm the cat lady. From now on, I win every single day. It's me, again, talking about my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. I met some people. We go out sometimes, and I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them, tried to help. And now, I'm writing this blog. I must confess, yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past, and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. But I woke up today, feeling better. Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me. Asleep. Waiting. And when it'll hit me, it'll hit me hard. But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. And speaking of Mitzi, well, I don't know what happened. I guess I never will. But against all odds, she just got better. Maybe it's because of that last candle. Or some other things I did that year. I don't really care. She's still here. That's all that matters to me. Every time I visit my daughter's grave, she comes too. We don't have to talk. It's just nice to have somebody there with me. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Now, I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. One day I'll get there. I know I will. Even if it takes me not nine. 